Welcome back. Today we're going to look at some common pests and diseases that might get on your pepper plants. We're going to look at three common problems that happen at different stages of the plant life cycle. The first pest we'll look at is a fungus gnat. It actually happens the very early stages of the plant life cycle and often happens indoors or in a greenhouse. Fungus gnats are very small. See that dime? That shows you just how little the fungus gnat is. It's actually the larva or the baby flies that cause the most damage to the pepper plants. They're in the soil and they eat the roots and cause the plant to die. Fungus gnats are insects, and so they have a life cycle similar to other insects. The fly lays its eggs on the top of the soil, and then the larva hatches, and then that's who eats the roots of the plants. We're trying to stop the insect life cycle, meaning get the adult bugs before they lay their eggs. This special tape attracts the adult flies and they get stuck to it. That way they can't lay more eggs and have more larvae eating the roots of our small plants. Did you notice that the leaves are moving a little bit? That's because we also set up a fan to blow the flies away from the soil so they're not tempted or able to lay their eggs. Once the peppers get a little larger, fungus gnats are not that big of a problem. There are other problems that can happen as the seedling continues to grow, but I didn't experience any more problems until the peppers had been transplanted outdoors and the fruit started to grow. What you see here is something called blossom end rot. You see the signs of blossom end rot at the very tip end of the plant. It happens from the inside out and just like the name says, the bottom of the fruit gets rotten. Sometimes it happens when there's too much water or the plants dry out and then get watered too much. And then sometimes it's just because the soil doesn't have all the vitamins and minerals it needs. When you have fruits with blossom in rot, it's important to remove all of those fruits. Try a new technique with watering and then also see if you might wanna add some calcium. One way to do that is by adding crushed up eggshells to your soil. If the rot hasn't gone too far, I cut off the rotten part and cook up what's nice for a meal, but they can just be composted too. The final pest I'm gonna talk about is a slug. Slugs like to get very healthy and delicious peppers and eat them from the inside out. Do you see that itty bitty little hole? The slug slid its way up into the pepper, found a spot that it wanted to eat through, and then made its way inside and started to eat its dinner there. They're really quite tricky and cool in how they eat food, but I want to eat the same food they do. This little slug caught me by surprise, but often you want to get the slugs while they're out in the garden so they don't damage the peppers. In this case, I just moved the slug outside, washed my pepper really well, and cut away the areas that the slug had already been eating on. Sometimes you're able to live with pests. If I wanted to stop the slug before it got on my pepper, I might go out at nighttime and remove them from the pepper plant so they're not able to get inside and start to eat. Well, there we have it. Some of the common pests and diseases you might have when growing peppers and how to use natural methods to help protect your plants. See you next time.